I actually went to high school with, with Carmen, so it's kind of a weird thing to think they were married. Now, Carmen and Dennis aren't exactly poster to the moment to get married. I think we've all had nights where, you know, we had maybe a little too much to drink, and we woke up in the morning and thought, what, you know, the hell did I do last night? Now, there's speculation. And a few fans. I'm not scared to say I was a Millie Vanilli fan. I had the record, and, you know, blame it on the rain. Oh, everybody knew that song, yeah. When you have that many people in one place together, I mean, it, all it takes is, you know, something to go just a little bit crazy, and people panic, and then it becomes every man for himself, and then it can get really, really ugly. It should have been a togetherness after good, but obviously, I mean, it was, it was a career move that completely backfired for her, and I don't think she ever really recovered from it, and um, it's probably, that's a pretty big group of people to offend. I'm not Catholic. She was already an angel living down here. She had nothing but upside going for her, and anyone who knew Aaliyah and had ever met Aaliyah, I mean, she was one of the sweetest people I'd ever met in, in this business. She was just a genuinely, you know, down-to-earth sweet person. Witnesses said the pilot and crew were afraid the plane was dangerously overloaded. Travels on a tour bus, you're not buckled into anything, and you've got some person who you barely know responsible for 15 lives. Gloria's husband, Emilio, and her young son, the music industry. Some of the most successful and legendary people that we know in music, you know, die way before their time because of, you know, lifestyles that, that they can't keep up with, and tragic things happen. Nearly three years later, and... Oh, whoa, baby! <laughs> she was just making the transition from Spanish star to, you know, the mainstream. But fate intervened. Selena's relative. Real slow, so you don't miss anything. <laughs> I think that whole era, you know, the justify my love, leather whipping each other thing, that was probably the uh, most controversial time I can remember her having. But by 1996, John's intense relationship with Yoko Ono caused a rift within the band. It, it's kind of become a brand name term for, for some, you know, someone, the girl who comes in and breaks up a group, you know, that she's the Yoko. She's the Yoko that broke up the group. And I don't know if that's necessarily fair to Yoko Ono, who knows what really happened there. That's certainly the way it was perceived. I'm just sorry I didn't get to... It's the kind of decision where you just have to assume that she, there was something there that maybe some of the rest of us didn't see or know. Julia and Lyle met while... Maybe you just, you know, he sang to her at night. It was just unbelievably moving. She couldn't resist. Just said a 